What's up guys, and welcome to Simple Review, the series where I, Pepper Homie, briefly play a game, review it, and I keep it simple. Let's get into it. Ninth Dawn 3 is a open world RPG dungeon crawler. When you play this game, you would just have the option of playing through the main story locally with up to one other friend. While playing through the main story, you will find upgrade points, loot, and quests. Any quest rewards or loot found in game are per person and the upgrade points that you find will grant one point to each of you. Items can easily be traded though so if you find something that your friend wants you can easily just drop that on the ground for him. Gaining XP though works a little bit different. No matter who's killing an enemy you will always get XP from the kill. So you and your friend can just go kill anything you see without worrying about giving the other person more XP. When you're playing, you will however be fighting over the screen. The screen will attempt to follow any character that's moving away from the other player. If you move a certain distance away, it will cause the character that's no longer on the screen to teleport to the character that was constantly moving. You will also need to fight over the screen space when you're navigating your menus. Opening your menu during any point in the game will cover up the other player's screen since you're sharing the same screen. It is possible to have both of you open up your menu screens at the same time, but it's pretty difficult to navigate your menu when both screens are open due to small font size. If you are playing and one of you dies, you will not be able to revive them unless you have invested skill points into the ability to revive teammates. This is a skill that you can earn later in the game depending on how you build your character. Skills are earned by using skill points but are only available depending on your stats in certain categories. For example, if I wanted to learn the fireball skill, I would have needed to use a magic spell for a while to build up my proficiency when using spells. And that's pretty much the core multiplayer experience that you'll have when playing this game. And now, from my experience when playing multiplayer in this game, I thoroughly enjoyed playing this title. Being able to easily trade items between each other made character specific loot not that big of a deal. The shared XP mechanic was definitely very well thought out. Me and my friend were generally always the same level so there wasn't any situation where one of us was carrying each other through dungeons or anything. The only thing I could really complain about is navigating the menus at the same time. Currently the menu system is a little clunky and could use some hotkeys to navigate it better. Whenever any of us needed to navigate the menu, it was a very time consuming process and slowed down the flow of gameplay. And now with all that being said, I'd have to give this multiplayer experience 9 pepperonis out of 10. This game overall is a very well done multiplayer RPG dungeon crawler. So if you're a fan of that genre, you should definitely check this game out. And that'll do it for this review. If you found this review helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing.